about like a year and a half ago I decided just couldn't deal with my with my acne scars anymore I was always so depressed I would go out I would rather go out like in the nighttime people wouldn't be able to see my like my scars eyes pick scars that's what i have Every time i would go to the dermatologist they would take this tool and just like poke 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 so anyway now i'm left with acne scars so i decided to do a bunch of research to see what can i do how can i fix this like is there any treatment that i can possibly do like anything I was googling for like doctors in New York said okay I think I'm gonna get this thing called Juvederm okay and it's these fillers it's supposed to like fill in the scars because it adds like volume I found this doctor he's like specialized in plastic surgery but he did fillers as well I went there and I told him oh this is my situation he took a lot of pictures of my face and so that's what I was going there for and I said oh I'm interested I think in Juvederm will that be good it was a consultation so I was asking like will that be good for these scars he was like, yeah, it could help. And then he said, oh, but I think I would prefer something different for you. And I was like, okay. And he was like, it's called Bellafil. And I had no idea. Like, I had done no research on Bellafil, never even heard of it. All I knew was, like, Juvederm. I was like, okay. He's like, but the difference is that with Bellafil, which I believe before was called Artifil, they changed it to Bellafil, but it's the same thing. The difference is that Bellafil is going to last you for about like five years. And I was like, oh my God, like that sounds perfect. You know, if you're going to get something that's going to help your face, you want it to last as long as possible, right? So Bellafil instead of Juvederm which they have a, a lot of different ones, wrestling, I don't know the names, they have a lot of different fillers, you just have to do a lot of research which one is good for your type of scars or for whatever um, you want it for. They actually do like nose jobs with these fillers, cheek, I mean they do a lot of things but I was just going for my acne scars, ice pick scars. The difference with Juvederm is that that lasts like a two years i don't know there's too many fillers to remember but this one bellafil is five years the most five years most people so he said but for this one you have to do an allergy test because it has like um put it here exactly i don't want to say something that is wrong this was like a year and a half ago so i'm just trying to remember that oh we just have to like inject you with a little bit and see if you have no reaction and then you can come back and we can do the procedure so i asked if there was any downtime so i could know for my job and there was no downtime you could literally go back to work the same day did the injection because this has like cow collagen okay and they also it's like cow collagen mixed with like some beads and the beads is like oh god i hope i'm not saying this wrong you start producing your own collagen did the allergy test everything was fine I was doing a lot of research and everybody was just saying like be careful be careful like try to go to a place where like they literally only do like these kind of fillers not like a spa because there's so many places that will do this procedure but you want to go like to a doctor a lot of spas do this a lot of reviews were saying that it's not the the actual product like it's not Bellafil or Juvederm or any of that that is bad is the person that is applying it my doctor like this is the thing that he would do on the side but his main thing was like plastic surgeries I'm talking about like ten thousand dollar things twenty thousand so for him this was like uh, but whatever he had he had good reviews really serious I told him like I was reading a lot of things that were saying like uh that you could you could have like really big cheeks or they could add like a lot of volume i said please i don't want to like look like that by any means think the price runs like a thousand a thousand two hundred like that for like one syringe what i got i don't even think i did a full syringe the the day i went he numbed my whole face we waited like 10 minutes started injecting he started injecting and they have to go like really deep in your skin, but you don't feel it, okay? Everybody's different, but remember, you're numbed. But he was always like checking in like, are you okay? Are you doing okay? Do you want me to stop? So that was really good. He was injecting and when they inject, they have to like literally like wiggle needle inside, like move it around and they inject it. They inject the liquid. And so he went through a couple of spots but this side has always been like more problematic than this one. I do have a couple of holes here, ice pick scars, which they're called. 
but um this side like i have much more i don't know if you can tell so of course he had to inject more on this side like he didn't really use the whole syringe and when he was done i looked at myself and i really didn't see a difference i was like okay so i kept saying like oh i may want some more and he just like refused to do it so that's a good thing that's a good sign because they can go overboard and that's gonna be a problem like remember these are like semi-permanent fillers five years is a long time so i told him like i i wanted some more you know because I really didn't see a difference. I didn't. So he said, no, like if anything, come back in a week. I'll see how you're doing. And if anything, we'll apply more. And I said, okay. Went on with my day after that. I didn't feel any pain whatsoever. I wasn't swollen, nothing. That that was just me, you know, no swelling, no anything. I didn't see much difference in my face, but when I came out of the office, like re the receptionist was like, oh wow, it looks so much better, you'll see. And they said that as the days would go by, I would start to produce collagen and it would look better. I went back like in a week and I said, oh, um, so can we add more? And he said, yeah, you could add more if you want. And But he said I had to like pay for a whole syringe again. And I know for sure I wasn't going to use a whole syringe. And last time I didn't use a whole syringe. So I don't even think, I don't think they can save like if there's anything left, you know. I think they have to keep it like in the fridge or something like that. I was like, forget it. Like I can't pay a thousand and something again. So I just left it like that. It was in April um 2017 i started my youtube like in july if not i would have probably filmed and told you my experience while it was happening but i wasn't doing youtube then it's been almost a year and a half this april is gonna be two years and so i started noticing right um i definitely saw a difference like i can see now i don't even remember how my face was before i definitely didn't take pictures like zooming in like i do now for youtube a video and one of my subscribers commented like did you have anything done to your face and in that moment i was like anything done to my face and then i i went back and i looked at myself and i was like oh my god oh my god and that literally like it was like a light bulb and I started looking at myself and at my videos and since I have to like film and basically I'm looking at myself a lot now, I started seeing and you can see the difference. So this is why I wanted to make this video because you have to be careful if you think of doing this because if they go overboard with this Bellafil one that is five years, you're basically screwed. I'm sure they have like a procedure to like dissolve the fillers, but do you really want to go through that? What happened to me was, I guess since I had so more of a problem in this area, he started injecting more and thank God he didn't listen to me and do even more because I wanted more. But if you see my face and I'll try to insert pictures because I don't know how well you can see it here. Um, I definitely have more volume on this side. Okay. Like if I smile, you could even see it too. Like this whole area like is so plumped on this side and this is much higher here. We'll put some pictures where you can see it a lot more. And so I don't even know if this was good like for the um the acne scars that I have with this which is ice pick scars. Um would I do it again? I think so because it did help, but you can still see like all these little holes like and they also suggested like oh maybe you should come back and do like a chemical peel or something but i never went back for that much more volume on this side of my face and i still have like three years to go so that was like the only that imagine this was like a doctor so imagine someone that's not a doctor you have to do a lot of research that these people hopefully a doctor there you go um really knows what they're doing really knows because they're could be some complaints like that you're gonna have so much volume remember as the months go by you yourself because of what they inject you're gonna start producing more collagen which means you're gonna get more volume didn't completely get rid of my ice pick scars i still have these holes but they did like shrink i didn't want to inject me right here but i didn't let him because this this is a whole other situation that i have which i'll probably do a video on but 
that has nothing to do with this video but that was also because of acne doing it and if you find it cheaper somewhere don't try to go somewhere because it's cheaper and you know what some doctors have said like they would never recommend doing like Bellafil unless this patient like their patient has gotten like Juvederm or something like that and they see how they react to that because Bellafil is like a little more serious they have to do allergy tests it's uh it's lasting for like five years so it's not something you want to play around with it's pretty pricey but uh it's worth the money i think just be careful of how much they inject and do your research because it's not good for all kinds of acne scars you know it all depends like different ones are good for different things a lot of them might tell you like oh yeah 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 it's good like just to get your money you know they'll tell you yeah yeah it's gonna work but uh just be careful just be careful do a lot of research and like i said my doctor his specialty was more like plastic surgery like i guess lipo and stuff like that reconstructive um surgeries so this was just like you know most of them that do that also do like botox and this and that so i mean i don't know what i'm gonna do and after looking at myself in some pictures i i really like think i like the lift like it gives like a little bit more shape to my face so i would have liked maybe like this side to have that lift as well because if not like my face is very flat without like this here i mean i've always had those cheeks but um this one is definitely more plump here but besides that like there's nothing that you have to change like with your routine uh i went back to work like two days after you could wear makeup which i didn't want to so i didn't wear makeup like for two days but you can like go about your life exactly the same it's definitely a good investment and i'm happy that i did it but that's the only thing you have to be aware of please just do your research of who's gonna do it for you if you don't want to come into something like five years or long term like that don't do Bellafil. like if you think you're gonna change your mind or something try first like maybe a juvederm or wrestling just do your research and definitely go for a consultation and see what kind of acne scars you have in it and it's if it's good for it with like the chemical peels like that leaves your skin very very sensitive so like i had someone that i knew that did it and they were just so sensitive to the sun after that it was just a lot of like you had to take care of your skin much, much more after. You know how it feels and you just want to like do anything you possibly can to make your skin look better. And I suffered with acne for so many years. It runs in my family. I have very oily skin, acne prone. It didn't help every time that I would go to like those dermatologists and they would just like poke me they really like messed up my face and so did i because i would use that same um extractor i hope this helped if there's any other questions you may have them in the comments i'll try to answer them as best as i can but again this is just my experience i would do it again but i would be extremely careful i hope it helped and thank you so much for watching please give the video a thumbs up if it helped bye